Hello colleagues, dentists, friends. Uh, this is one of the parts of uh, Exposed Infection Control Webinar. This is the product that I was supposed to show you in one of the discussion about the PPEs, which is the face mask. If you have watched the Exposed Infection Control Part 2, you would have seen that I mentioned this product and it is quite exciting. So please don't go away and uh, you will see my unboxing and review of that product. Okay, just to be uh, upfront from the start, I am the consultant, one of the consultants of Edelweiss Dentistry. And recently, uh, around a month ago, they came out with a very special product to protect healthcare workers, especially dentists, so that they can go back to their practice. And one of the most important PPEs for us is the face mask. Now, if you have watched the Exposed Infection Control Part 2, I have discussed extensively about the face mask. So, this is the face mask that I received actually around a week ago, but I wasn't just informed that it already arrived. So, I wasn't able to include my review on it prior to my uh, webinar. So anyway, I would just like to thank Edelweiss Dentistry for sending me a sample of their Edelweiss Virostatic Face Shield Mask. Now, um, if you have watched, as I've mentioned, if you have watched the part two of the exposed infection control webinar I did, you would know that one of the most important characteristic of a face mask to protect ourselves from contracting any kind of diseases is the PFE, which is the Particle Filtration Efficiency. And right now, since COVID-19 is highly contagious and very easily transmitted from human to human, it PFE is very important. The face mask should have at least a greater or equal 98% PFE. Now, However, this face mask, why I am very excited uh, to receive and test is because it has nothing to do with filtration. It has something to do with its special fabric. Now, I will open it for everybody to see. Okay. Oh, it's very nice to touch. <laughs> very soft, actually. Anyway. <laughs> This uh, face mask is supposed to have a special uh, layer of coating on the, on the fabric. It is not just an ordinary fabric. It is coated with a certain kind of glycoprotein, wherein coronaviruses, including COVID-19, once a droplet or an aerosol with that virus uh, touches the fabric, uh, the virus will think that uh, it is a protein or a host that they can attach to. But what this uh, special impregnation content that, uh, that is on the fabric does is that it destroys the coating or the, or the envelope coating of COVID-19 and totally damage it. So instead of it going through the fabric, the moment it touches the fabric, it automatically damages the virus. So there's no need uh, to filter it or to do anything else because the special coating on this fabric will do the work before uh, the virus can even penetrate the fabric. Now, uh, according to Edelweiss Dentistry, uh, the fabric is reusable, which is good because we don't have to always throw it away and it is you can use it for 50 hours and you can wash it 10 times now um supposedly you're not to use any kind of soap it is much better to just wash it with water because it has already 
uh, have a special coating on it so uh, basically by logic uh, it is not dirty because whatever bacteria or viruses that is attached to it uh, it should be killed by the special coating of the fabric now um, what is also nice about uh, about this is one of the advantages that they mentioned is that this uh, uh, fabric doesn't uh, causes any fogginess on your loops or eyewear which is very important for dentists while they are doing their work so let us let's go ahead and try it now uh, before uh, anything else I have already washed my hands okay and then uh, if you cannot wash your hands please do sa you know apply uh, any uh, hand sanitizer this is always a uh, part of how to don and doff any uh, contaminated for example any contaminated face mask that uh, you are uh, you are using or it, PPEs in general so let's try Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so what I also like about this, it, it also protects your neck. And it's very soft to the skin. And then, uh, although it looks good on uh, those with the uh, pointed nose. <laughs> so... Let's, uh, I have a loop here that again, uh, this was in courtesy by Univet. So this is the loop and supposedly uh, you, you, it doesn't, uh, because normally when you wear a face mask, a tendency, the loop gets Foggy. Oh, it doesn't really fog. Mm. So, uh, this is really nice. Uh, I like it. And then I, I wear a powder, and as you can see, there's no makeup. So, it's not. See, there's no makeup. Ah, that's cool. Uh, it's supposed to uh, 96% um, protects you now like any other as I've mentioned in my webinar if you watch both the exposed infection control part 1 and part 2 there's no 100% guarantee in all of the equipments and materials that you are going to buy because one it was also very dependent on how the person uses uses it in accordance to the manufacturer plus the thing is what we are fighting is invisible so how can a manufacturer tells you that it is 100% of course in their testing they see a big percentage that it can protect us so it will be dependent on the reputation of the manufacturer and from the people who are selling it to you now, the Edelweiss virostatic face mask was developed in the University of Manchester in London. I guess the people behind this product are people that you can at least trust and depend on. So, anyway, I hope uh, you are able to uh, see something that you might consider as an option to protect yourself once you go back to your practice. If you have any comments, and questions please don't forget to comment below and if you like the channel please like and subscribe uh, at facial value I am truly truly thankful of all the support of the dentist and other mom-ups and pop-ups who 
continually watch our channel and all of our videos. I hope you will still be there as we go through along this very challenging journey with COVID-19. Thank you. Salamat. Bye-bye.